Apologies for no upload yesterday. Uh, I was out the entire day with my family. And I saw the Avengers, and it was phenomenal. But uh, I hope this makes it up for you guys today, because today I got a uh, Mother's Day special. I guess is what you could kind of refer to it as. It's a double header here against two guys against the two guys again. Uh, two guys I found in the smoking server on PO as per usual. You da -da -da -da. And uh, they're both NU matches featuring the exact same team, and they're both pretty short, so I'll just get the first battle up going right about now. And, uh, yeah, so I'm just going to go, like, team preview straight into the battle, no nonsense or something, and I'll, like, have a quick break in between. Just, that's pretty much how I'm going to be doing it for the video. But, uh, we'll get in his team. Um, as you can tell, I'm pretty much running... This team is kind of something I kind of came up with, like, a little bit earlier on today. It was, a uh, based around building support for Life Orb Kangaskhan, and then rolling from there. But uh, the star of this show for this game actually is uh, more so Embor right there, because he's just going to be destroying literally his entire team, if I do say so myself. And uh, the guy I'm battling against, is uh, his name is AKA Lucas. And um, nothing on his team really terrifies me that much, except maybe for the Absol, just in case it does manage to get set up. And I do manage to lose, like, Kangaskhan or... Embor or something like that. I could be kind of messed over, but other than that, no, nothing really. Other than that, though, nothing really scares me too much. So, let me just move along and get started with the battle. So, as you can clearly tell, I'm going to lead off with my uh, Embor right here. As he leads off with his jump bluff, I'm going to go for the flare blitz right off the bat here. I'm guessing he just was not expecting me to be scarfed in any way, shape, or form. So I'm easily going to just eliminate that. Like right off the bat, not be worried about it. Now he's going to bring his Gardevoir on the switch. I'm not really sure whether or not it's Specs or not, it's Scarf or not. So what I'm going to do here is bring in my Rotom uh, Spin here, whatever the form is called. Because it is, I'm running more so special defensive nature on it. So I'm just going to bring that thing in, go for the will of predicting a switch into like a physical attacker, namely Absol. Um, because I thought that's probably what he wanted to do. However, he just manages to go for a calm mine right there. I'm just like, eh, no me gusta, no me gusta. So what I'm going to do here is bring in Quagsire, I believe, because I know for a fact that I do have, because I do have unaware, um, those special attack boosts aren't going to be afflicting me that much. In fact, they're not going to be really affecting me at all because of unaware. But um, however, as you can clearly tell, that Psychic like still does a lot of damage to my Quagsire right there, which. You know, kind of scares me, so I'm thinking to myself, okay, I could, maybe I could bring in Rotom and then get, just pretty much leave him in for death fodder, and then just have the burn residually kill him off, because I know it may not be this turn, but the turn after, it will eventually take him out, so I'm just going to leave him in for death fodder, he's easily going to die off, and as, as so is the Gardevoir right there, and it is a double down, so as per every double down, you always bring your Scarfer, which in this case happens to be my Embor. So I'm going to bring in my Embor now, go for the superpower, easily dominate that Absol right there. So that, I was a little afraid though, because I thought it may be Scarfed, if it's, because his Gardevoir wasn't, so I don't know. But he's going to bring his Magmortar now, because I really don't want to, like, I kind of want to just be able to bring in Embor now, just Revenge Kill with an Earthquake. Because that's pretty much what's been going on right here. Embor's just going to come in again. Easily decimate that thing with an earthquake right there. And then Quagsire's just going to die. I was wanted to sure, see what kind of moveset he's running. Slash what kind of set. I'm assuming he's probably an expert belt. But now he's going to bring his Vileplume right here. As I bring in my Gigalith. He's going to go for the Stun Spore. I think he should have had the Sleep Batter on this thing in my opinion. World worked out a lot better. And he also should probably be back in the Giga Drain. Not the Energy Ball. But I'm just going to go for that Normal Gem Explosion. Easily dominate the Vileplume right there. And the only thing he has left now is that Mil Tank. Which is probably something he should have brought in a a lot, a lot earlier, like, a lot earlier, because as you can tell, it easily manages to take my superpower like a champ, and then is actually able to kill off my Embor right off, the, right in, there and then, so I'm just like, eh, oh wait, no, I have Kangaskhan to finish the job, and uh, yeah, so Kangaskhan's just gonna finish that thing off right there with a fake out, well, not necessarily, but the next turn I'm easily gonna be disposing that thing of a Drain Punch, and it is going to be my game right there and then, and yeah, so, as you can tell, it was a pretty short match and I knew for a fact that you guys wouldn't be satisfied with just a four minute video after my lack of uploads for the other day so I'm just gonna make a quick transition here grab some water and then prepare myself for the next battle and then I'll just meet you guys in like about five seconds all right so this next match I got here for you guys today is a uh, is another NU match just using the exact same team I used last battle um it, I think, like, what I was trying to aim for today was more so a theme with, like, Mother's Day with Kangaskhan, you know, that kind of feel to it, if you know what I mean, I guess, maybe, sort of, kind of, I don't know, but uh, I'll just get the team preview up going that way. Duh. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm being weird. 
I was pointing off in the wrong direction, that's all. But, uh, okay, team preview, yeah, that. Okay, so, looking at his team for this one, um, again, nothing really scares me too much. I feel like the only thing that could be a real issue is going to be the suck and the uh, wheezing, just because if I do manage to lose Haunter, for the wheezing, if I lose Haunter or uh, Rotom Spin, actually, literally, if I lose Ro Rotom Spin, uh, either one of those is going to be a huge pain in the butt for me, but otherwise, nothing really scares me too much. The Grumpy could be kind of an issue to take down. I mean, it's bulky. He's running a lot of bulk on this team. The Mighty Anna is just a guy like that, though. Nothing too special or out of the ordinary. Gardevoir, I just got to look out for just in case it does, it is scarfed in some way. You know, you can never be too certain. Eh, eh. But, uh, yeah, so let me just jump over to the battle now, and uh, we'll get rocking and rolling. So... He's going to lead off with his Grump Pig if I lead off with my Kangaskhan right here. I'm going to go for the Fake Out just because I know I could at least land a flinch on something right there. But it, as you can see, it does literally nothing to that Weezing as he brings it in on the Switch. But uh, So what I'm going to do now, I think, is I switch out and bring in my uh, Emboar right here. And I'm going to go for the... I, pre I was predicting the Will-O-Wisp, and I knew I could take it because I would be immune because of my Fire type. So I go for the Flare Blitz, see how much that damage does. And it doesn't really do that much because... Weezing's just a straight up defensive behemoth, and it does a lot of damage with that Sludge Bomb right there, so I'm like, okay, I should probably bring in Haunter this turn, because I know I can take a Sludge Bomb like a champ with this thing, and uh, as you can tell, I take it pretty darn well, so I'm not going to complain in any front, so I'm going to sub this turn, see what he wants to do, he's going to go for the Will-O-Wisp, try and get some residual, blah, residual damage on me, but, because I, I think it's, I can't remember if it's this battle or another battle, that I'm a, I think I'm a sub, I'm a Sludge Blitz set, okay, right. For a second there, I thought it might have been a sub disable set, but now I was just going to switch out, bring his Mighty Anna just to break my sub as I easily kill that thing off with a Sludge Bomb right there and then. And that's just one semi big threat out of the way, I suppose. But in any case, he's going to bring in his Guard Rower right now and uh, go for that um, Psychic so it can easily kill me off. So it does let me know that he's Scarf because I know for a fact that no variation aside from a Scarf Guard Rower can outspeed a Haunter. At all, unless I'm ready to get both the set, but that would be weird. But in any case, I'm gonna bring in my uh, Kangas counter right here, go for a fake out as he switch ba switches back into his Weezing. And I'm gonna switch out, bring in my Rotom Spin right here. Is it, is it Rotom Spin? I always forget, but um, whatever, I'm getting distracted. I'm gonna go for the Will Wisp right now just to get some residual damage on something, I guess. I don't know. Either way, it'll be kind of nice, but actually, he does manage to bring in his Grumpig right here. I go for the Air Slash, do some damage, manage to get the flinch, you know, I'm not gonna complain. It's Good hacks on my side, bad hacks on his. But, um, he, I, he does make up with it later on in the match, though, so, yeah. But he's gonna go for the heal ball right now, which is like, oh, perfect, so now even if I try and talk to this thing, nothing's gonna happen, which was, I think, gonna be my central strategy right there with my, uh, Quagsire. But in any case, I'm gonna bring my Gigalith right here. I think go for the Stone Edge just to do some damage on something, which happens to be that Weezing right there. I think initially what I wanted to do was bring in Gigalith out of my uh, Stealth Rocks, but because he taunted me, I'm not gonna be able to do that. So I'm just gonna switch out now, bring in my Embor right here. Go do some damage with the Flame, um, at the Flamethrower, the uh, Flare Blitz. Try and land a lot of damage on that thing and then hope to be able to kill that thing off with the Kangaskhan. So he's just gonna kill me off with a Sludge Bomb. That's okay though, because I really don't think Emperor would have been that useful otherwise throughout the rest of the match, except maybe in taking down that arm model. But in any case, I'm gonna bring in my Kangaskhan right here. I'm just like, oh, perfect. So now I can just finish this thing off of the return, right? You know, it, it seems like it's gonna happen. I mean, what could go possibly wrong? Well, I do no damage whatsoever. Because IT is a fool and completely forgot to max out his happiness on a Kangaskhan. So, as you can tell, it did absolutely nothing. And that just set me up to literally be unable to take that thing down, which really stinks. Because, well, Kangaskhan would have probably been doing a lot more work in this match, but unfortunately I had to die off to a combination of Will-O-Wisp and Sludge Bomb. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, now if I want to have any chance of winning, I've pretty much got to rely on sheer bulk and giggle it to win here. So I'm going to go for the Discharge here. Thankfully, land a pair of hacks on the Grumpig, but because he does have heal health, he's just easily going to get rid of that the next turn. So I'm going to bring in Gigalith now. I think try and go for a Stone Edge just to see how much damage I can do to this Grumpig, but I think I actually do manage to kill this thing off, if I'm not mistaken. It's either that, no, I think, no, I know for a fact that if I did want to go for the normal jab explosion, that'd be a bad idea. I want to save that just as a last resort. But now he's going to bring in his Weezing right here. I know for a fact that he's definitely going to go for the will -O and I actually went off to check whether or not Weezing could actually outspeed a standard um, Nicholas set, and it does, so i thinking, okay, well, because I don't want to get will -O right there, and I know for a fact that a storage might not be able to kill it if he does go for the pain split, I might as well just bring in Rotom Cut now. Do his, I mean, spin, spin, Rotom spin right now, go for some strong electrical moves, do a lot of damage, and hopefully kill it off next turn, which is meant, which is something I managed to do, which is pretty cool. 
So now all I gotta worry about left is that uh, Gardevoir, the Armaldo, and the um, Sock. And I try and go for the uh, will o -Wisp right there on the um, Armaldo, but I miss, and it does manage to kill me off with the uh, Stone Edge right there, and I feel like an absolute moron right now, because what I should have done here instead was brought in Quagsire on the predicted Stone Edge, and then God for the Waterfall, done some, a lot of damage with that thing, God for like recoveries or something, but here I am now being an absolute dirt machine, trying to land some Toxic right here, constantly missing, but thankfully he does manage to land a crit right there, which does blow, but because I am a defensive beast with Quagsire, and I'm going to just be able to recover off that damage. That's going to be pretty nice. But however, I'm just going to recover again. And this turn he brings in his Gardevoir. And I should have been like, oh, wait a minute. He's going to go for the trick this turn, obviously. I mean, that would make the most sense, wouldn't it? Well, I'm just like, oh, nope, never mind. I'm just going to keep Quagsire and go for the Earthquake and then take that thing out. But thankfully, though, I still got Gigalith on my side. But at this point, I'm realizing that's most definitely my game. Because my game plan for the rest of the match would have been like, okay, if he does manage to bring in Sog, I probably would have just gone for the Toxic. And just tried to stall him out to death right there, but because I am I'm tricked now and I lack lefties and I'm going to be locked into one move, I can't really do that anymore. So I'm, I'm just going to pretty much at this point just try and kill off as much of his team as possible at this point. I go for the Earthquake right now. I think I was predicting the switch into Sock because I thought he might not want to take a uh, Stone Edge, but I do manage to outspeed and kill him off with the Stone Edge this turn, which is, you know, pretty snazzy. Not going to complain. But now in comes a Sock, and I'm just realizing at this point, it's like, yeah, it's pretty much my game right now. So he's going to go for the close combat, finish me off right there. He's going to get the defense drops, but because Unaware ignores both stat increases and strat drops on the opponent, it's not really going to matter that much, so even though I he might be at minus two, I'm just still going to be able to kill that thing off with a waterfall, and well, not even do that much damage with the waterfall, and he does manage to kill me off the close combat right there, which does stink, and that is unfortunately going to, actually no, it's not going to be his game, it's going to be my, it's, well, it's going to be his game, but I wouldn't say unfortunately to it, it was a nice game though, it's a nice game nonetheless, Mookie, I enjoyed our battle, and also a good game, aka Lucas as well. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, as per usual, you can always rate, comp, rate, rate, comment, subscribe. I feel like a moronic weatherman right now. Like, don't ask me why. Um, you can always rate, comment, subscribe. And, yeah, this is Infinite Trials here saying peace out, yo, and have a good one. Also, The Avengers was awesome. Go watch it now. Just, just do it. Just do it. Take your mom out for a nice, for a nice steak dinner, then watch it. Just watch it, please. Please?